Happy July 2022 to you guys. How's everything, guys? Carmine from New York here. We are filming today in a New York City park, relatively new. It's called Brookfield. This park has about five miles or more of paved paths and trails for hiking and walking and bringing your dog. Yes, it was a landfill a hundred years ago and the city has reclaimed it and covered it and cleaned it and made it a beautiful park. And uh, it's one of the assets that we have here in New York City, the Brookfield Park. So today I was going to uh, do a whole story about the Olympus OMDEM 10 uh, mirrorless Micro Four Thirds or Beast Four Thirds camera with the 12 to 100 Olympus Pro lens. I'm still going to take some photographs here today. It's a beautiful blue sky. The temperatures will hit 100 today. Uh, that's why I'm here at 8 o'clock in the morning to beat the heat. But as you can tell by the title of this video, there's something way more important than the uh, Olympus OMD EM10 camera review or just to tell you guys about it. I uh, often will check in with Petapixel.com. It's a very good website, Petapixel.com. And I came across in the last 24 hours a story that they just uh, released that I said I have got to tell uh, the folks on my channel all about. Guys, there's a documentary movie, a film, uh, that is just released. It's in the theaters now, and it's about photographers. There's almost no documentaries or movies or major motion pictures based in fact about photographers. But this is a special documentary. This documentary is about photographers, the bravest of photographers. The name of the movie is From Where They Stood. From Where They Stood. It's about secret clandestine photographs taken by Holocaust prisoners in the prison's camps such as Dachau, Buchenwald, Dora, Ravensbrück, and Auschwitz. This movie was directed by Christopher Cognit. It's in theaters right now, uh, soon to be in digital form. But here's what According to Petapixel, and I'm going to see the movie, it's in Manhattan today. I'm headed there. Uh, the cameras that they would take, now don't forget, now this is the 40s. They would take their cameras, wrap them in newspapers, make a small hole for the lens, and they'd put the camera under their arm, as if you would put a newspaper, just put it under their, their arm. And they would take the photographs, where they stood, there's the title, from where they stood. So they would stand, not put the camera up to their eye because they would be murdered. They would take the photograph from under their arm to document the atrocities. Now these were not soldiers. These were not Nazi photographers. These were not military photographers. These were the concentration camp victims taking these photographs. The photographs were taken between 1943 and 1944. Um, it shows, according to Petapixel, I'm going to see the movie today, hopefully. It shows the atrocities. Pictures taken through small, tiny holes in the gas chambers, photographing inside. Um, 
I just want to get the message out on my channel. Petapixel.com is a lot bigger than my channel, but I have reach to photographers who may not care to uh, tune into Petapixel.com. They may have never heard of Petapixel.com, um, but I try and keep in tune with all the photography websites. And this is pretty rare that I mention uh, a article from another commercial photography website, but this needs to be told to our community, our photography community. The movie, once again, From Where They Stood, it's a documentary about the prisoner slash photographers in the Nazi concentration camps in the 40s taken clandestine photographs from cameras wrapped in newspapers under their arm to document forever the atrocities firsthand. Okay, so the Olympus OMD EM10 with the Pro Olympus 12 to 100 zoom lens. I'm gonna photograph now. This park is just absolutely beautiful. This is one of the trails, okay? Uh, just turn around a little bit, give you a little pan of the area. It looks like uh, prairie land, you know? Like maybe the way uh, New York City looked several hundred years ago just rolling hills yet this park was very well designed very well created on top of an atrocity here a landfill that was just full of toxins fire department going to their next call i'm sure you can hear the sirens but uh, i'm going to photograph whatever i can here uh, i see a lot of wildflowers so you guys might be seeing some wildflower shots. All right, so let's look at the photographs I took at this Brookfield Park today and other days. This is not the first time I'm here. Okay, let's look at the photographs of this park right now. Have a great day.